Um, yeah, no, I've sort of had a bit of a strange couple of weeks, so I haven't uploaded because, yeah, you know, sometimes life gets busy. Oh, I have got a cold sore. <laughs> Never mind. Um, yeah, no, so what happened was Fiends was really unwell, and I thought it was her teeth, which it still may be, but they can't do anything about it at the moment. So I took her to the vet again, took her back, and... She had some blood tests and bit the vet. Um, and she's got hypothyroidism. So I've got some meds to rub in her little ears. Um, it's a transdermal medication. Um, I'm not a huge fan of meds, but in this case, I've got to, got to do it to get her well again, get her balanced. Um, so we've been doing that. She pretty much hates me for mucking around with her as much as I have lately. And it has been hard work. She's a bit of a madam anyway. And with health issues, you know, like I have to clean her ears now and then to so that the stuff soaks in properly and things like that. So, yeah. And I was going to go to Taupo and I've had to delay that because she's got to have ongoing blood tests for a while until her levels stabilize but essentially it's a lifelong condition so if we stay on the meds that'll be it for life um hypothyroidism can also hide kidney issues which we won't know anything about till the next blood test in a couple of weeks um and yeah, the other treatment option they suggested, which is quite expensive, is where they inject radioactive iodine into the iodine into the cat, and she has to stay there for I'm not sure how long now, but a wee while because she'll be radioactive, so she can't be around people, and I think that would be quite tough on her. As temperamental as she is, the only time she's ever been away from me has been when she's had to be at the vet, so... Okay, see that rusty streak? I actually cleaned the wheels yesterday, so you can't see it that well. But that basically tells me I need to check that wheel nut. Actually, my rims could do with a good <laughs> sort out anyway. But when you have a little rusty streak coming from one of your nuts, it's often a sign that it's a good time to actually check whether your wheel nuts are tight. Um... Because you don't want your wheel to fall off. So I'm going to do that today. Make sure they're nice and happy. And yeah. And look who's here. Miss Feeney. She's helping. <laughs> she's helping. Ah, what are you doing? Did you see what I made you under the truck? I made you a scratching post. I did. Yeah. Done. <laughs> I had two loose nuts on that one. So I'm going to check the others too, but that's my wheel brace. And I've got a piece of steel in there. And then a big long piece of water pipe. Because you need that leverage. And it's filthy. <laughs> No, it won't work. This is Miss Fiends. We're outside the vet and we're early because we left early. And she's trying to figure out how she can escape before we go in there because she knows where we are because I got the evil carrier out, which she hates. Um, so at the moment she's trying to open the door and meowing a lot. Hey. So 
So, for a change, I dropped my deck. I don't use it all the time. It was quite funny, actually, because I dropped it as soon as I got back from town from grocery shopping, and um, I was sitting on the floor putting my groceries away, and there was already several people standing out there staring in my back door. It's, it's probably one of the reasons I don't use it much, because... From the back door, it looks right through. <laughs> There's not a private corner in here, apart from because I was sitting on the floor. But um, it's a bit gloomy out there. It's about to rain, so that's why it's a bit dark. But yeah, that's why I quite often don't drop it. But here I thought, well, you know, I've got nothing but bush behind me. It should be okay. But no. <laughs> uh, and lovely Denise gave me this thing to keep the flies out because I always have that curtain on that door to keep the flies out but I didn't have anything for that one so yeah um, there's lots and lots of these little little flies see little little horrible annoying flies around so it's quite good to have that down Yeah, so I'm actually sitting on my deck. It's um, really nice and cool out here, but look at the sky. It's getting darker and darker and darker, and yeah, I think it's um, going to pour down soon. So I dropped the deck actually primarily because the cat's been unwell, and she spends all her time under the truck, and it kind of bothers me <laughs> probably a whole lot more than her. It just, yeah, it just bugs me. So I thought, well, maybe if I drop the deck, which I've still got to give it a good clean because it gets really dusty, um, maybe she'll sit on that. You know. <laughs> uh, who knows? But I'm quite enjoying it in the meantime anyway. Yeah, so that's the back door. Oh, see how dirty the floor is down there? Oh, let's see. Uh, no. That's not working. Sorry. I <laughs> can't show you that bit unless I flick around which way this thing faces. So, yeah, I went to town today, did some groceries, did a ton of washing. I actually had to use a big washing machine because I had all my bedding, all my towels. Because I hadn't been doing that because I've just been washing in a bucket over there by the tap. Um, but, yeah, those big things I thought and I will go to the laundromat. So we did that. I bought Fiend some trial pet food at the vets it's a hyperthyroid um what do they call it prescription diet thing that if the meds keep making her sick i can try her on that the tricky thing is if she's on that to control her hyperthyroid she's not allowed to eat anything else at all and she has caught a rabbit this week and she ate part of it. She caught a mouse the other night, which no doubt she ate, I'd say. So, you know, she's still doing her little hunts. Um, she's just not herself at the moment. So, yeah, I don't know how the diet thing will go, but I thought I'd just trial it. They get pretty expensive tins of cat food, actually, for two little tins. It was $9. So, yeah. Um, but the meat's about 70 bucks a month anyway at the moment, so yeah, it's, it's um, hmm. me being who I am, I like to treat most things with plants and herbs and natural substances as much as I can, you know, every now and then you need the medical establishment, absolutely, um, you know, but now yeah, with this one, 
I don't know how to treat it myself. I've got some a herbal tincture coming for her from the UK, but that could be ages away because of shipping at the moment. But I don't think that would totally control it. It may help her out a bit, you know, it may support her a bit. And it may enable me to, whoa, you can come up here. She's mowing at me. So we'll see what Madame would like to eat now. She's very fussy at the moment because she's feeling a little bit nauseous from the medication. Hey, what? You hungry? Yeah, she's hungry maybe. Sitting at my laptop now, actually editing this video into something fluent and fluid that works. And yeah, no, um... It's been a couple of days again. I've been messing around with the dosages and talking to different people and Kat seems to be feeling a little bit better today. So fingers crossed. It's been been a stressful time actually, you know, that's why I've got Mr. Cold's all happening because, you know, it's been that and then website stuff and Google stuff and um yeah, I'd love a holiday. <laughs> But I can't actually go anywhere at the moment because I have to be here for, for blood tests from this. But anyway, it's a beautiful day out there. I'm planning on going for a nice walk, taking some good photos. That always um, gives me a huge boost. Being creative just gives me a huge, huge lift every time I do it. I know that now, you know, I either, whoops, sorry, I either fly the drone or go and grab my camera and take off outside and take some nice photos of beautiful things of nature and I feel a whole lot better again and it's Sunday and it's time I had some fun today I think so anyway hey if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you want to see more and no I promise they're not all cat videos it's just that's what's going on in my life right now um Lots and lots of love to you all, safe travels, and see you all next time.